Hello, welcome back to the channel M Pharma Phoenix Solutions. Today I'll be talking about the aerosols or what we call the inhalation disease form. Now, of course, we can, these are aerosols uh, specialized usage form for drug delivery for drug delivery to the respiratory tract. They can be powders or nebulized liquids. We know these ones. The common one is for asthma. In asthma, it is in asthma. Uh, the salbutamol, even the combinations. Uh, the deposition of drug aerosols in the air is dependent on, on the physiochemical properties of the drug, the particulars, of course, the size of the drug, the device, the, device, the patient uh, breathing patterns and the clinical status, and of course, the effect of humidity. Uh, of course, by humidity, we are meaning that if a drug, if a particle, for example, a powder is uh, is uh, is inhaled, what if it attracts moisture and becomes bigger will it reach the the lower levels now uh, of course aerosols it consists of the propellant the container as shown here uh, the valve or actuator and the product concentrate which can consist of the api that is the active and other additives yeah? suspending agents uh, and all these other ones Uh, the propellants of course without a propellant there is no way you can actuate or you can withdraw the drug from the aerosol because the propellants we have these are they can be liquefied or compressed gases responsible for developing the proper pressure within the container to expel the product concentrate and of course they evaporate when they reach the 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 airways leaving the product in contact with the respiratory tract Classified as liquefied gases, because these are the ones, liquefied gases. Uh, we have the four liquefied gases. We have the, uh, these, are gases these, 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 these are gases that exist as liquids under pressure and at head space. They are gas. Now, the chlorophyll carbon, these ones, they cause greenhouse effect. I'm told the they, they, they aren't used commonly. We also have the hydrofluorocarbons, the tra for ethane and then the hydrocarbons will be 10. However, you can also have the compressed gases, carbon dioxide and all these other gases. Uh, the co let us first look at the container valves and actuator. Of course, the container should be strong enough to withstand the pressure and is usually made of aluminium and stainless steel or some uh, gases, especially the ga so some are glass, especially those ones which are used in uh, in uh, I'm forgetting it. The glasses that is in perfumes because it's also an aerosol. Now, uh, uh, of course, the valve was open to reduce the flow of the product concentrate and can be emitted as a mist or foam. Of course, you know this foam, this one, and it is usually a continuous flow, like um, like these other ones. However, for the ones of drugs, are uh, a metered, they are metering, they have metering valve. The actual is that button you press on top to activate the, the valve. Uh, 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 now, I forgot about the container. Remember, the container is curved inwards. Why is it curved inwards? Of course, to increase uh, the strength, hmm? to increase the strength, and also to ensure that the product is, is fully withdrawn. If it was curved, if it was straight, the pressure can easily move and then pluck it down that's why it is carved inwards and all those aerosols which you have in your homes in your uh, pharmacy there uh, the, it is carved in a concave way um the method those inhalers those, so this is commonly used in asthmatic patients consist of a canister because that can you know it which is made of stainless steel or aluminum and then you have the metering valve which uh, which allows uh the extended quantity of product to be dispensed on upon actuation because action actuation I meaning activating the, the 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 valve and of course the actuator that you press to activate the valve and of course the mouthpiece uh so that's why when you are using uh, aerosols you cannot use an aerosol for example those ones for asthma constantly have to first shake it to fill the valve until the 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 metering valve fills and then you can actuate again uh, of course what are the advantages because you can deliver uh, uh, drugs specifically to the words 
to the separate system and of course it is portable but of course it's expensive you know them they're expensive and of course it requires skill to administer the patient you have to teach the patient how to use these drugs the product concept uh, it consists of uh, of course the api that's the product concentrate and of course the propellant it can either be uh, a blend or a single uh, blend here we use road slow uh, road slow is that calculation uh let's look at solution for nebulization of course this this uh this this involves the application of solution of containing therapeutic agent in the form of droplets which are inspired by the patient through is that face eh? not a face mask but they does that thing they put on face course, they contain a vehicle or solvents or smallality modifying agent and all preservatives and all this one preservatives are in all doses how are aerosols prepared one is using pressure filling of course uh, carried out essentially at room temperature the product uh the process is placed in a container the valve assembled are you getting it after that then you, you using pressure you add the propellant through the valve However, it can also be done in cold filling, uh, carried out at, in cold rooms. Both the product and the concentrate, product concentrate and the propellant must be cooled. The blood is temperature, and of course, they will be liquefied later on. Uh, it has been a short discussion uh, of aerosols. Uh, thank you very much uh, for listening to me. I always remain Wilson. As it brought to you by Informa Training Solutions, you can always contact us for more information. Uh, uh, like, subscribe to the channel, contact us, and leave a comment at the end. Thank you very much.